Hello everybody, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome to my Monday Night Raw preview for July 15, 2013. Yes, it was one year ago today that we had Dolph Ziggler and John Cena as Mr. Money in the Bank. Well, this week, this year, it's uh, Damian Sandow for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, I don't know how did he win, but I, I although it sucks he won, but the way he won, we'll talk about that in a minute. And Randy Orton. So could we see a Randy Orton heel turn with the money in the bank? Hey, CM Punk turned heel when he cashed in on Jeff Hardy, who's now in TNA. So well, now let's get started with the preview. This Raw will be live for Brooklyn this week. As we get ready for it, the five-point preview. First up, scholar, yes, but a gentleman. Damian Sandow proved to be the smartest man in the World Heavyweight Championship contract money in the bank ladder match. Taking refuge from the chaos and seizing the cup the, by seizing the the contract by betraying his tag team partner and sort a of best friend Cody Rhodes at the moment of truth. Yeah, so if you guys didn't see the match, I didn't do a review of it and the results because, well, I was too tired. There was no point of doing it. So what happened was Cody was got his hands on the contract, and then all of a sudden Damien Damian pushed him off. And Damien won because of that. So we need, we may have a Cody Rhodes face turn here, possible feud with Damien Sandow for SummerSlam. And that rumor going around is that he's going to put his Money in the Bank contract on the line. Yes, we're on that road to SummerSlam. And the WWE is heading to my neck of the woods. And I'm going. So, yeah, let's go with that. So, uh, how will Team Rhodes begin to fray? And I, my answer is yes for that. Okay, that's our next preview. Ah, internet being so slow. Internet for the win. Next, snake in the grass. Well, looks like Cena has a viper to deal with during his championship reign. Looks like Randy Orton earned the last accolade to add to his career by capturing his first Money in the Bank contract, earning him a, ch a title shot for the WWE title whenever he likes. It is very unlikely that Orton will announce the opportunity like Cena did last year because he's the o Cena's the only person that failed. On the similar note, who will make another? Will Mark Henry use his rematch at SummerSlam, or will Wob Van Dam emerge to step up? All I gotta say is, it's good to have Rob Van Dam back. Next, love really does bite. Well, if you guys didn't see Money in the Bank, AJ Lee screwed Dolph Ziggler as as she caused to show off the match and kept the title with Alberto Del Rio. And this could be the start of AJ and Dolph breaking up, which, in my opinion, it should have happened a long time ago when Dolph had that double, when the double turn happened at Payback. But that's just me personally. Next, knockout Heyman guys. Oh man, that was a highlight for me when Mr. Paul Heyman severed his friendship with CM Punk, but Heyman hit is hit a Viciously attacked his former protege with the ladder, which cost Punk the title contract, which eventually led to Orton. Now, I don't know how CM Punk's going to react to this, but I'm chancing now he's going to be so pissed. And next, they're back! The family returns. Yes, the Wyatt family. The Wyatt family is making a comeback. That contain with the steel steps and put out of action for Money in the Bank. Which begs the question of why. With Kane's status for Monday still undetermined. But back with, tune in tonight at, on the USA Network. Ah, 
And that'll do it for this Monday Night Raw preview. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys later.